Well, what is going on guys and welcome into the video. So we all know the stock market is just ridiculous at this point. I mean, we have high growth stocks trading cheaper than value stocks and great companies with great management, great balance sheets, great growth, great profits, great everything trading at multiples they have never seen before. These are great businesses, guys, not speculative stuff. So I will give you my top eight. Oh, I got the numbers right. Top eight stocks that are in extreme value territory. Like this is stuff that seriously gets investors like me super excited because it's just ridiculous. So I just asked an exchange for you to gently tap that like button and consider subscribing to it's super easy to do if you like the truth without the hype. Now today's video is kind of a condensed version of a much more detailed version of a breakdown of a stock that you can find inside the Market Insiders private group where the sale is finally ending in just a day or two. And we have over 100 different tutorials and lessons on this topic. And it's also where you have lessons on mastering your money, building up passive income and retiring early and being financially independent. And we even have a real estate course in development now. You also get direct access to me directly through DMs, live streams, and you see every buy or sell I make in real time. And you get my watch list with price targets too. So make sure you lock in your membership now as the price is going up in a day or two forever, but you get the discounted price for life as long as you stay a member. And remember, you are not only investing in yourself and your family, but you're also helping out others in need as half of everything goes to charity. So let's jump over to these stocks that are in extreme value territory. I'm sorry, I just like saying extreme value territory. I don't know why, it just, I don't know. It sounds cool, probably isn't, but you know, hey, just go with it guys. Now this doesn't mean they can't go lower guys. They all probably will, especially after I buy them since that is the pattern in the market always follows. But nobody knows where the bottom is, although every other YouTube and pundit in the media seems to be giving you charts and graphs saying this is where and this is when and this is when it's gonna happen. Which they've honestly been wrong about every time until they show you a new chart and new time. And I guess if they just keep doing this rinse and repeat, they'll eventually be right and then say that they told you so. But the point is, I personally have no idea if any of these stocks have bottomed or if they will fall 50% from here or not. I have no idea and neither does anyone else in my opinion. But what I do know is valuations will eventually matter as they always do. And all these stocks are trading in extreme value territory in my opinion. So my own, some I don't, and I will let you know what that is for each stock, am I buying, and all that good stuff like that. And the last one is the deepest value to me, although I'm sure some of you will strongly disagree, and it will make a few of you guys actually angry and create a lot of debate, but I'm ready, so you guys just bring it down in the comment section when we get there. So first up, we have SoFi. Now I will say that this stock is probably the least extreme value play of the group simply because it's still very speculative compared to the others. Long term, I love the growth. I think the bank charter will be huge in a few years. And I think management is making all the right moves for now to set all that up. The question will become, when do they turn a profit? And can they keep the growth rates growing, growth rates going and still turn a profit? And apparently I need to learn how to talk. But it was recently under $5, which is just crazy. And I like it now too, if it stays under that $7 mark, which is a steal deal for them. So stock number two would be PayPal. This is exactly what I was discussing right off the top. I mean, great management, great balance sheet, great everything. And yes, they lost the eBay deal, which is a big loss, but they gained a partnership with Amazon like we discussed before that will continue to ramp up well into the future years. Count me in as a buyer of this stock at these prices. Anything under $200 is a deal to me, but another $100 is basically stealing money over the long term, in my opinion. So this is one that I will continue to add money to. So to go along with PayPal, I normally get asked about Square or Block or whatever the heck it's called. So let's discuss that stock as stock number three. I cannot argue that it's not in deep value territory as well, because it really is in deep value territory. Now, I'm personally not a fan and it is banned from my group from discussion. Actually, I'm totally kidding about that, kind of. But anyways, it's an inside joke with us. But the point is, I personally like the prospects of SoFi and PayPal better for my portfolio and my makeup. I'm not saying anything about Block, I'm just saying I like those two better for my portfolio. So it's not as speculative as SoFi is, clearly, but it's also not as solid as PayPal is either, so somewhat in the middle of those two, and I'm honestly not looking to add any at this time. Although if it hits $69 per share, I may open a position just to troll the group a little bit. I mean, they troll me constantly, so when I can, I like to give it back to those guys too. So onto the fourth stock, and that would be Palantir. A very divisive stock that elicits strong feelings from everyone it seems. I mean, it's either a trash penny stock that is going to zero, 
or the next great company that will revolutionize the world and the shareholders will be richly rewarded because of it. Now, I personally absolutely think it will be a beast of a company in the future, and by the time Wall Street kind of figures it all out, the little guys like us that were on it early and at these prices will make a lot of money. However, like I have said from the start with this company, it is going to take years for that to be realized. It's not a $50 stock or a $100 stock by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, maybe one day it is, but that is years away, years, plural, years away. So patience is required. And this stock firmly goes in the category of you just lock it up, just forget about it. Just don't look at it. Don't look at the portfolio. Just, just buy till you have the position you want and then just look at it five years from now. So I will happily continue to be a buyer of this stock if it stays under $10. And on to stock number five, which is Airbnb. This stock has fallen like everyone else finally, but man, did it have a great earnings call this time around. And the CEO was very aggressive about what he's seeing going on in the future. He has been quoted as saying they're stepping on the gas when everybody else is kind of bracing for the worst and getting defensive. He's going on offense and the numbers are backing it up. Bookings have already surpassed pre-pandemic levels and we aren't even through the summer yet. So I guarantee those are going to get better. And it's another stock with great earnings, great guidance, and record numbers that Wall Street just wants to beat up and be disrespectful to. It actually held up well this entire downturn, but it finally gave way. And with them divesting their China business as well, it will affect the bottom line. But pricing has already reached stupid levels even with that. So I will continue to add if Wall Street wants to stay stupid, which let's be honest, it's Wall Street. So stock number six would be Google. I mean, seriously, what needs to be said about Google that hasn't already been said? I've been buying the stock for years and will continue to do so for the foreseeable future. It checks every box for a great company and a great stock to own, so it makes no sense that it is trading as cheap as it is. It was actually in the running for the most deeply discounted extreme value stock, and it's freaking Google of all stocks. Sometimes the market just doesn't make any sense, so I will continue to buy this stock for as long as it stays beaten down like this. So next up at stock number seven, we have a lot of folks personal favorite and that is Tesla. I don't think I need to make a case for adding more Tesla. Either you're a bull and you think they're the future or you want to value them like a traditional automaker like Gordon Johnson does. So fair value is around 80 bucks or so. Now I'm not a mega bull, I know that and not even in the ballpark of the Tesla bull, but I do think anytime Tesla gets under 750 bucks, it's undervalued in my opinion. And yes, if Wall Street continues to get dumber and stay dumber, I will continue to add. And with Shanghai being shut down for most part, most of this quarter, and since Elon can't seem to solve all his Twitter drama with all the kind of the stuff going on around that, I think Wall Street will continue to be dumb about Tesla and I can continue to add to my position there. So on to stock number eight, and this stock is going to get me a lot of hate, a lot of discontent, but here are the facts. It's trading cheaper than Coke, than Walmart, than almost every other old man stock out there, and it's just a profit beast. There are very few, if any, businesses that have the margins and profitability of Facebook or Meta. I know, I know the stock's hated by a lot of people. I got it. Blast me down in the comments. I totally get it. But this is not the first time they have had to shift the business as they have done it successfully before when everyone said they were basically done. Oh yeah, and they are just churning out huge profits despite burning billions on the metaverse. I mean, even if it's a huge flop, they are still a better growth company than any of the value plays out there, and they are more profitable as well, and they are trading at a value stock multiple. This is the very definition of extreme value. And if you want to see my buys like these in real time, see my price targets and learn how to create price targets and a plan and learn how to do due diligence, don't forget the sale is actually ending for real this time on June 1st for you to join and you get to keep that price forever as long as you stay a member so don't miss out. And click this video right here for my blueprint to make a ton of money in this crash. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.